Today we are going to deal with the finite automata, which is nothing but DFA. The full form of DFA is nothing but deterministic finite automata. The DFA is the default finite automata. That means, if at all, there is no mention of deterministic or non-deterministic by default, what we have to develop is deterministic finite automata. And we have synonymous words like finite automata, DFA, finite state mission, all these represents DFA itself. What we have is automata. In introduction, we have automata. What do you mean by automata? The term automata is derived from Greek word, which is shown over here, and which means self-acting, self that self-acting. That means it's it itself acts an automata which is nothing but a singular form and automata in plural form automaton in singular form is an abstract self-propelled computing device which follows a predetermined sequence of operations automatically that means things will be done as we planned there won't be any manual intervention the thing is done without manual intervention obviously we will say that it is nothing but automatically an automaton with a finite number of states is called finite automaton or finite state machine this is the definition of finite automaton and finite state machine or deterministic finite automaton form and definition of finite automaton a finite automaton can be represented by using a phi tuple value I want to remember you that uh, word tuple represents row in RDMS, RDBMS. Here, the five tuple values are capital Q, which is nothing but finite set of states, and sigma, which is the, nothing but finite set of symbols, and delta, which is nothing but transition function, Q naught, which is nothing but initial state, initial state, and capital F, which is nothing but finite set of final states, final states, which is always a proper subset of fi finite set of states, capital Q. And uh, we can able to define finite automata by using three models. The first one is mathematical model. The second one is simulation model. Third one is machine model. In mathematical model what we have is set of inputs and some set of outputs we have a process called finite automata process in a simulation model simulation modeling is a process of creating and analyzing a digital prototype of a physical model to predict its performance in the real world let's take a analogy that if at all we want to learn the cycle obviously we will go for the we will, go for, we will go for buying a new cycle and we will learn it. If at all we want to learn corresponding car, obviously we will uh, buy second hand car and then we will learn, it, learn on it. And uh, after that one, obviously we will go for new car. If at all we want to learn uh, how to uh, drive the aeroplane, obviously we will own, we will own buy the corresponding aeroplane. What we will do is we will simulate the environment of aeroplane driving system and we will learn on, on those things and after that one we will go for the real learning. That means what we are doing is a digital prototype of a physical model to predict its performance in the real world. Simulation modeling is used to help designers and engineers understand whether, under what conditions and in which ways a part could fail, what loads it can withstand. Here FA simulates a computer. Here the computer CPU and it has some input memory, output memory, same program memory and temporary memory. Here the, it represents automaton process. That means finite automata is nothing but a synonymous to our computer and the last and final one is a machine model a machine model is simply nothing but a state machine 
is a mathematical model of computation used to design both computer programs and sequential logic circuits. It is considered as an abstract machine that can be in one of a finite number of states. That's it. And uh, the machine is in only one state at a time. And it has some properties like uh, the machine is in only one, st one state at a time. The state it is in it any given time is called current state. It can change from one state to another state when initiated by a triggering event or condition. This is called a transition. And the acceptance of a string. A string E X is said to be accepted by finite automata. If a sequence of transitions on the symbols X takes the finite automata from the initial state to the final state. If at all the initial state is Q, if at all X is the corresponding string, obviously it leads to some P. If at all P is in final state, that means X is X is accepted. If P is not in the final state, set of final states, obviously the corresponding given string X is not accepted. Finite automata can be represented by using one of these three representations. The first one is a transition diagram, second one is transition table, and the third one is transition function. Transition diagram. In transition diagram, we have different uh, states and different transitions. States are represented by using oval symbol, the corresponding transitions are represented by, by using arrow symbols and we have some uh, two types of uh, special symbols, special states like uh, start state where the corresponding input is going to be started from there and the final state which, can, which is uh, represented by using a double circle, oval, double circle, circle and the same way what we have is uh, we are going to start the input from the start state uh, if at all we are going to reach the final state and the corresponding string ends over there obviously we will say that the corresponding string is accepted if not so then the string is not accepted transition table transition table is nothing but a, a representation of corresponding states and inputs in a table wise as we see like like here here states have row and the corresponding columns are input symbols in the given sigma. For each and every input to the corresponding state, what will be the transition state? That means Q0 on 0, it goes to Q1. It goes to corresponding Q1. Q0 on 1 goes to Q0. Q1 on 0, Q2. In this way, we will uh, represent a row and column wise which is nothing but transition table representation. Next one is transition function representation, which is nothing but by using delta we are going to represent Q0 on 0, Q1. That means Q0 on consuming the input 0 symbol, it will lead to Q1 state. This is why, this is how we are going to represent transition function. Examples of finite automata. You can uh, see over here that uh, few finite automata examples let's find uh, capital Q Sigma Q naught Delta F for all these uh, corresponding example fine examples of finite automata procedure to design a finite automata to design a finite automata we have to find the smallest string for the given language first that means what you have to do is find the minimum string minimum string from the given statement of language what you have to do is you have to find the minimum string after that one you have to develop a transition diagram for the smallest string this is the step two repeat steps four and five until new states can be obtained that means in step four what you have to do is consider those input symbols from the given sigma which are not applied on each state one by one until every state has a transition for every input symbol in sigma. What is over here is in the step 2 what we have is a minimum string transition diagram. In step 4 what we have to do is simply for each and every state in the minimum transition diagram, minimum string transition diagram what we have to do is 
for each and every state we have to find out which transitions are not there compared to the number of symbols in the given sigma and we will give the all those rest of transitions in such a way that in such a way that initially give the transition to the unapplied input symbol from the state to itself if it is not valid try to give the transition to the previous here the previous state does not mean that immediate previous maybe after the immediate previous state also if it is not valid then create a dead state if not there give transition to it in this way we are going to find out the corresponding uh, to design a finite automata okay we will see the examples in the next video thank you